The morning rush to leave home and get to work on time often results in homeowners leaving their houses unsecured, providing easy access to thieves in their absence. Homeowners are leaving their homes not secured. They're leaving the keys in the door. They're leaving the, the windows open. They're leaving keys under the mat for, or on the plants for other homeowners to use, other homeowners to have access to the house. And this is treating to the ability of criminals to target the specific homes um, for their own means. These trends were highlighted in a study conducted by the National Task Force on Crime Prevention entitled Profiling Burglaries in Barbados. That study showed that between 2006 and 2011, there were over 7,000 burglaries reported in the island. Of that number, more than half of the homeowners believed their actions contributed to the break-ins. The study garnered that over 50% of the homeowners felt that the burglar easily got into their homes because of some action that they would have done. They would have either left keys in the door, they would have either left windows open, or they would have made it easy for the burglar to get in through leaving ladders and other house breaking facilitators in the open for a person to easily access their homes. The study also revealed that 50% of burglars entered homes through an open window and 42% through an open door. It also showed that single parent and nuclear families were the main ones targeted by thieves and while houses were the house of choice, accounting for 64% of burglaries. The majority of the burglaries um, that we, we looked at, the burglars entered the, entered the homes through a window that was either open or can be easily pushed up and entered, especially these windows with the netting, the sash windows with the nets. Those were the windows that we found were quite vulnerable for homes. Also, on entering the homes, we found that um, burglars usually stole um, jewelry, cash, and small electronic items, items that they can easily move with or hide in a haversack on their backs. The study um, showed was that the majority of the burglaries occurred during the daytime, between 6 in the morning and 6 in the evening. With this information, we concluded that the burglaries are not occurring during the evening or at night when homeowners are at home, but actually during the day when they are at work. So persons must make or take greater efforts at securing their homes while they are at work. You would also note that some of these neighborhoods that we would have surveyed, persons were not around. These were neighborhoods where persons left early for work and did not return until later in the evening. Um, criminology theory would advise person to vary their routine. If you are accustomed leaving home, say, around 7.30 on mornings and returning at 7 o'clock in the evening, maybe you may need to take a lunch break at some point in time and come home to vary your activity so that if someone is watching you and planning that particular act, then at least they would know that there's no specific time that you, the homeowner, may be home. However, there are a number of measures that can be taken by homeowners to secure their homes and property. Be aware that, that everyone can be a tar uh, target for criminality, but the idea is to make it as difficult as possible for you to be made a target, so that you should spend at least a couple of minutes checking your home before you leave. Before you drive off or walk away from your home, ensure that you have the keys for the house. Make duplicate keys for other persons who need to have access to the house. And this would help in 
creating that difficulty or removing that difficulty um, for people who want to enter your, enter your home. The crime prevention officer also highlighted a number of things homeowners sometimes take for granted. What is happening also is that there's a challenge with these small bathroom windows. These bathroom windows, people believe that persons cannot enter through these windows, but they can. And they're using them all the time to get into the homes. So we advise people to close the bathroom windows and, if practicable, secure them with wrought iron bars on the inside. There is some special advice for homeowners who had sash windows installed. It's time now is that people are using a lot of sash windows, but there are ways to secure sash windows, and we will want persons to call us at the Community Relations Department uh, to speak to the crime prevention officer, and we will come out and have a look at the window, and we will show you the best way how to secure uh, sash windows. The number is 4307154. Homeowners were also urged to ensure that their locks were installed by a professional. The way the door is hung is important. If the door is not hung properly, then there's too much space between the door and, and the door frame. And then a person can use that to use a, a facilitator, a screwdriver, a knife or whatever to put between the door and prise open the door or damage the lock in the process. Homeowners should also examine the lighting outside their homes. Many people leave home in the morning and come back late at night. But when they come home, the entire area is dark. If you know that you're going to return home when it is already dark, it is important to have a white light note, a white light source on the outside of your house so that when you come home you can see clearly around your home so that if anyone is there you'll be able to see and identify them easily. The lawman has also warned homeowners against throwing out boxes from the purchase of electronic appliances like computers, laptops, iPads, watches and jewelry. This is not a good practice because this is like treating or advertising to the criminal that you have something in the house that they may actually want. So we want you to properly dispose of boxes um, and other containers that you would have purchased items with in appropriate sealed bags and put it in the garbage. And if possible, only put it out there when the garbage truck is arriving so that you do not make yourself, your home or yourself a target for criminal behavior. Other habits, such as homeowners leaving out ladders, having washing machines near to windows, and electrical outlets on the outside, were also identified as areas of concern, and police have highlighted a number of areas that people need to be aware of to better protect their properties. The idea is, is that if you have a, 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 a ladder on the outside of your house, it should be secured, and secured in a way that it cannot be moved unless you move it. So it should be either nailed down, bolted down, um, outside the house and then the, the washing machines people tend to put washing machines and other proper other things facilitators outside the house but these should be on the opposite side of the of the facility away from the window otherwise persons will use it as a facilitator to enter any window that is that is outside there then <clears throat> there are some pe some people would have um, electrical outlets on the outside of their homes now you should have a switch on the inside of the house which turns on and off that particular outlet. If you leave that outlet on, a person can easily come and place a power tool of, of some kind and use it to enter your home and we don't want that to happen. So you should make sure that you're, you can have full control over every outlet that you place on the outside of your home. Sometimes the best form of security can come from within your own community. Your neighbors are part of your whole security environment and everyone should be looking out for each other. That is why we, we try to formulate things like neighborhood watches in areas and we want people to continue to follow this path of neighborhood watches, looking out for each other. It would not be always that a police officer would be around to patrol the area, but neighbors can also look after their security. However, in the event that your home is broken into, the police have this advice to offer. Keep a lot of noise. Do not, some people are in shock sometimes, but it is important to 
to scream and let some person know that, that there's distress. Um, homeowners should also, when they're going to bed, take all their keys, all the keys that they have to the house into the bedroom with them. If they leave the keys on the outside in the other parts of the house, a person entering the house can use those keys and use their vehicle as a facilitator for taking the property away. So when you awake in the morning, the car will be gone along with the property from the house. So you take your keys into the bedroom along with your cell phone. And if it is practicable at all, you can lock your bedroom door to ensure that persons do not enter your bedroom without awakening you. So, homeowners, remember to lock your windows and doors when you leave home and pay closer attention to making your surroundings more secure. Remember, it only takes a few minutes to lose what you worked hard for many years to achieve.